Hi there Colorado owners. Today on your 2020 Chevrolet Colorado, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Roadmaster's battery disconnect switch. Got my vehicle in flat tow mode. There's only one step left for our Colorado and that's to disconnect the battery. And boy would it be a pain in the butt to have to get your tools out every time. You want to put it in flat tow and haul it with you. Let's make things easy. We're now disconnected. We're ready to drive it again. We're now reconnected. This is all thanks to the battery disconnect switch. We can, with a press of a button, disconnect and reconnect our battery, making a flat tow extremely quick and easy with our Chevy Colorado. Let's take a look under the hood. Our battery disconnect here is a powered solenoid that will engage or disengage the vehicle's battery with the simple push of a button. What's nice about a battery disconnect switch though, especially for flat towers out there, one, to go into flat tow on your Colorado, you have to disconnect the battery to complete the flat tow process. But the other issue is that when you disconnect your battery completely, nothing's going to work on the inside of your vehicle. And we want our supplemental braking system to be powered up all the time. We need that breakaway switch to be ready in the event that we do have a disconnect so that it way it can activate to help our vehicle come to a stop. We can do this with our disconnect switch here because it does hook in line between our battery positive here and our little fuse component here right on top of our battery. So we can completely eliminate everything on this side and we st all we have then is just this post connected to our battery positive. What's nice about that is that we can power up the components that we still need to have power right here from our post, like our supplemental braking system, while disconnecting the rest of our vehicle, completing the flat tow setup, because none of the components on your car are no longer powered because we've completely removed them. We've only got the components that we desired to have still powered up right here on our disconnect switch. And that's really the best part about the disconnect switch is that it gives us an extra post that we can easily maintain power and quickly disconnect our battery without having the use of any tools. It's a really quick and easy installation. You just need to mount it up with the included self-tapping screws or bolts. It does come with some nuts and bolts if you want to through hole it. You have your two large cables that go in line between your battery post. You have a ground wire to hook up and then you have a wire to run inside for your switch that we saw earlier. And we just ran some self-tapping screws that came with it right here into the firewall. I did drill some additional holes to be able to mount it lower so we could have clearance from the shock on our hood. And all we did was just drill those holes right above the existing holes just to drop that down some. We've now got everything for our braking system hooked up, but we had to hook some of those components to our battery disconnect switch here. The battery disconnect switch is a pretty simple installation. Once you've got it mounted up, there are gonna be two large cables that come off of it. And we talked about it earlier how one's labeled battery post and one is labeled battery cable. These are gonna go in line between your existing battery connection. So our battery is located here. You can see the battery post right there. And it has a small cable that comes off of it that was attached to this stud right here. We're just gonna remove this 13 millimeter nut to remove this small section of cable. And we're gonna use the included nut with star washers. Make sure you slide the heat shrink over one of the cables before you attach the two together. And then you can slide this over it after you've attached them and shrink it down. This needs to be the battery post side that this connects to because it's right here on the battery post. This is just a little jumper cable that gets it connected there. The battery cable side, which is this one here, needs to connect back to the stud to resupply power to the rest of the vehicle. Because our disconnect switch, what it's essentially gonna do is when we disconnect it, it's going to separate this point from this point. These two are gonna be separated. And it does it inside the switch here. So once you've got your two major cables connected, we then need to connect up the ground, which is the white wire coming off of here. And we just routed this back behind our battery, right over here to the negative side of the battery. And we just connected it right there. We did have to crimp on a ring terminal onto it in order to get it connected. That does come included with your disconnect switch. The last connection we need to make is from the gray wire that comes off and we used our airline to get it inside just like we'd used our, for the brown wire. And this goes through that same grommet location towards the inside. And that completes our installation of Roadmaster's battery disconnect switch on our 2020 Chevrolet Colorado.